So, hey guys, Chowser here. This will be my Weevil level limit break showcase, the treasure map Weevil. But honestly, the buffs are so minor that it's pretty hard to showcase. Like, sure, he's a better captain now in terms of multiplier, but the only main niche is that he can't be blown away. And there's not a lot of content with blow, blow away, so it's pretty hard to showcase that. As for the special, uh, he does what he always does, removes basically all attack down. His attack boost is better now. Other than that, one difference is that his tap timing damage is three turns now, which usually doesn't matter, but I'll showcase it for this video. And we also have some increased chain growth rate for Slasher and Striker, but it's not a big one, but it's a bonus. So he's better, but Weevil was always good, so he's just better what he does. So I'm teaming him up with another of the new level limit breaks we got, Smoothie and Oven, because they had got a very weird addition to their kit. Basically, if someone does three turns of tap timing, like Weevil, uh, after one turn is passed, you will get a guaranteed delay through full immunity. And this is much very likely meant to be used together with B2 Katakuri, which I've talked about before, but it's also weird because he doesn't do delay. But we're going to be able to use this to set up a delay conditional, which is pretty cool. So yeah, I decided to do a fully free-to-play team against Scarf Challenge vs. Generation. And yeah, you're going to be seeing my first playthrough of it, so you will see that it's pretty flawed. Uh, one mistake I made, which is just super dumb, is that I don't really think about Weevil's captain ability, the fact that he's a slasher striker captain. Uh, I honestly didn't think about that in all, <laughs> at all in team building, but it still worked out great because Smoothie is a slasher, Brook is a slasher, Sunny when you switch to Zoro, Zoro is a slasher, Luffy and Boa, not slasher. So it's, <laughs> it's worked out anyway, like if it didn't work, I'd just make some changes, but since it worked, I'm not going to go back to the drawing board, basically. But yeah, this team is designed so for that final stage, which you remember on debut, that stage was pretty hard to take down in terms of damage. I just wanted to really let a fully free-to-play team be able to damage through that. And to do that, you need a lot of buffs, especially since we can't rely on color affinity with this team. But yeah, that also means we don't have a lot of room for specials until the very end. But yeah, uh, we will, as you saw, he has a pretty good multiplier, so it does end up working. Uh, one cool thing with Weevil is that as you get lower HP, his multiplier goes up. Like when you blow 30% HP, the multiplier is 5.25 times, and that's actually fully respectable that was like the legend multiplier for like two years ago not even that maybe but yeah it was it it was at this point that i realized that oh yeah we was captain ability doesn't work like i thought i think i thought he was like universal ah, like i should have watched uh, checked it it's just done so you can say i got a li little little bit lucky in the beginning that it worked out but it's also not like I'm really tight on HP, so... But yeah, I've intuitively started to understand like what units I can rely on or not. To do damage. So if we rogue here, we're killing him normally. But... Yeah, you have to do it without buffs. Uh, the plan here is that when I can kill a rogue, I'm going to use Luffy Boa. This is to set up a full board of matching orbs. They also lock them, so we keep them for the next turn. And the turn after, we lock the orbs with Megalo. This is because on stage six of this content, if you remember, uh, we get the orbs perfectly locked, so we can't change them. So we had to set them up beforehand, and we can't set them up stage five, because then they change the orbs to empty or something. So I have to preemptively set it up. That's space. There's basically just two hard things to this content is setting up the orbs and then doing enough damage final stage. So despite being the last normal garb challenge we got, it's actually not really one of the harder ones since 
there's not a lot to think about. But it's a bit slow, especially if you do this stage normally. There are ways to cheese it, of course. But, but yeah, the playthrough finally starts now, you can say. So we don't get an extra special from this, but having a full board of matching orbs is still useful. So yeah, now we'll start doing damage with the units. Uh, one thing that might be good to mention is the fact why I chose this content, and it's because on the final stage, we actually have blow away of the bottom row, which we will prevent. So, yeah. Uh, I will actually bug stall here. I could have put the Nami support on Brook to remove the final turn of Threshold, but that was like the only non-free-to-play stuff on the team, so I was like, uh, let's make this a pure free-to-play team and bug stall a turn. Uh, Sorosani sort of here just to get some damage. And yeah, then I just hit with my weakest units first while hitting perfects. And yeah, hit just barely works out. It's funny that when you made a lot of teams, eventually you just get a feeling for what damage is enough. And it sure it does happen to me too that I make mistakes from time to time, but I'm getting better and better at it, at least. So now I use Weevil. I don't really need the attack boost. I just need that tap timing three turns. Because now when I use Smoothie and Adam, they will both give a three turn orb boost, which is also a great buff, by the way. They were already a good unit. Now they're even better with the three turn orb boost. But we also get the clock buff, which means that when we enter the next stage, we will delay the enemies one turn guaranteed, which is a real, very cool mechanic. We don't have anything like that or we didn't like we got ace now who can burn with a clock so i guess this is similar in that way captain swap i wanted smoothie oven if i didn't get that i will have reset the game which guarantees that swap but i have one we will have left as friend captain so he will stop the lower way there so yeah success for we will captain So yeah, there is the delay, and as you see, we still have Brook. And yeah, Brook, first special he will delay, but if the enemy is delayed, he will apply a delay conditional. So that's a pretty cool use of Brook. First he used, first he did a utility, and then he did a delay conditional. So yeah, we will now getting his attack buff, 2.25 times attack, and thankfully his attack buff is universal. So yeah, now we have all the buffs we could ask. We even have a small chain boost from Soros Sandy Swap. So yeah, I don't hit optimally here, but it worked out, so I can't complain. But yeah, that's my Weevil Showcase. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.